Hello everyone, hope everybody is keeping safe and well. In today's presentation, I will be presenting my topic on a travel behavior model to predict urban road users' preferences using machine learning. I am Prahaladan Sivalingam from the School of Computing, Science and Engineering, Taylor's University, Malaysia. To understand human travel behavior, it is important to have knowledge on transportation system and its purpose. In a transportation system planning, it requires to have three categories which are modeling, analysis and stimulation in order to achieve high performance and usability. The purpose of understanding and studying this would be to design an effective service and infrastructure plus to design policies governing sustainability in urban cities. Now, how do we achieve this? Gathering transport scheduling correctly extract travel characteristic based on spatial and temporal distribution and verifying choice in travel behavior. To date, citizens are mostly contributing users of smartphone application. Thus, continuous updates on transportation availability can be easily obtained with the integration of ICT, also known as Intelligence Transportation System ITS, via mobile devices and installed uh, software system. The role of ICT or ITS in transportation system plays key element worldwide as they provide information such as travel information, planning tools, transport modes, cost comparison, and online payment gateway. So the studies on travel behavior pattern and travel behavior model have been conducted worldwide by researchers. They have included theories and analytical methods from various scientific fields. Therefore, in this session, I would like to present a few literature reviews that caught my attention on travel behavior model techniques concerning dissimilarity factors. I have stated objective, key findings and research model that the author have used. The first author proposed a driver's behavior model that comprises of three phases, sensing, reasoning and application layer. The author collected data via GPS and questionnaire survey and then uh, process to log into ArcGIS software, which gives a precise location information results. And finally, a multinominal logic model was designed to study traveling choice of tourists. Most studies on urban travel behavior was done using the random forest techniques and applied inferences algorithm individually to detect travel behavior, mode of travel and complete tour information. Now, all these uh, studies have aim to develop a framework using data collected from mobile phones and questionnaires. The accuracy of the key findings, especially focusing on GPS travel studies, depends on the size of sample and its data quality. The aim of this study is to present a travel behavior model that provides prediction and visualization of travel pattern of commuters and routes. Consequently, the model will address questions such as what is travel frequency of the existing travel pattern and travel time estimation? What is congestion rate at a certain time? And what is preferred or suggested route, the average time per trip? Now, in order to achieve the aims of this study, there are certain requirements to be fulfilled, such as obtaining historical travel data of commuters within the road users of private vehicle in Klang Valley, Malaysia. The data will be obtained via users using Google Map application and questionnaire. This slide presents the methodological diagram. Starting off with Google Map application automatically stores travel related information of a user when Google location history is turned on. Now to download the Google location information, a step by step procedure will be shared with the commuter. Together, a questionnaire will be shared with commuters to obtain information such as yearly income, expenditure on vehicle and fuel preferences. This will then be processed via Python script to translate location address based on longitude and latitude and perform mathematical calculation in order to obtain travel distance, travel time, route taken, average speed and time taken in a congestion. As a result, the travel behavior model is developed and this variable contributes towards stakeholders having a visualization on travel behavior in urban cities. The model has three components, which is data collection, feature extraction and labeling, and modeling. The data collection components collects commuters' data based on their GPS location history and self-provided feedback via travel survey. 
The collected data will go through a process of data cleaning in order to obtain usable data and dismiss missing information. Then, a rule model will be applied to define GPS data set obtained. Each behavioral data is then labeled to facilitate modeling. The modeling will be then showcased in two folds. First, module provides visualization and second, it offers model prediction. This is the proposed travel behavior modeling framework. Upon obtaining the travel data, it will go through three phases, which is data collection, feature extraction, and travel behavior modeling. Using the algorithm and mathematical model, the data is converted into understandable format and provide information in two folds, which is visualization and prediction. In the transport industry, there are stakeholders, researchers, policymakers, and transport planners who will play a vital role in transportation system planning. Hence, the contribution of this study would be a framework for travel behavior model from the aspect of individual passengers by analyzing the travel behavior pattern using rule-based algorithm and travel survey. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed my presentation. I can be contacted via my email if you like to further discuss on this topic. Thank you very much.